protein bars are so fun, okay? They're, they really are, and they're convenient. They're so good. If you eat a protein bar and your stomach's like, blah, 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 stay away from that protein bar. You know what's funny about most protein bars? Most protein bars contain more sugar and carbohydrates in them than protein. So technically, they should be called sugar bars. Laura, what protein bar should I be eating? What are the best kinds of protein bars? I know that protein bars can be full of sugar, so which one is the best one and how can I tell the difference between a healthy protein bar and an unhealthy protein bar? First recommendation is the, you want a protein bar with few ingredients, you guys. So if you flip over a protein bar that you find at the grocery store and the ingredients list is mile long, don't buy. Don't buy that protein bar, okay? You want the ingredients list on your protein bar to be as short as possible. Minimally processed, few ingredients. Next tip is ideally you would have a protein bar with no added sugar. This is very hard to come by and you might not like a protein bar with no added sugar and you might hate your life if you try and eat it. So I understand if you, you know, it's not totally awful, but you want this to be limited and you certainly don't want sugar to be the first ingredient. So find a protein bar that has limited or no, ideally, added sugar in it. RX bars, RX bars are a great protein bar. They list all of the ingredients on the front of the protein bar and there's no added sugar. It's very transparent, very healthy and whole. Personally, I love RX bars. Other good options are Lara bars. Same thing, minimal ingredients, mostly made from fruit and nuts. Really, that's your best bet, a protein bar that's made from just fruit and nuts and maybe some other things. Maybe um, if you don't have an intolerance to any grains, then I think that would be something perfectly fine to be incorporated into a protein bar. But anything else you wanna stay away from. So all of those additives, all of those chemicals, added sugar, like I said, you wanna stay away from protein bars that contain those things. It's your choice if you want a protein bar with actual added protein in it. So lots of protein bars contain um, a source of protein, external protein. So I'm talking protein powder. That can be either whey protein or plant-based protein. If you're someone who's not into the whey, you can do a plant-based protein. I think that's perfectly fine if your body reacts well to it. And it might be trial and error when you find these healthy bars. Try one, see how your body feels. If you eat a protein bar and your stomach's like, blah, 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 stay away from that protein bar. Protein bars are so fun, okay? They're, they really are, and they're convenient. They're so good, but if you're gonna eat a protein bar over a meal that's nutritionally balanced, I don't think that's a wise choice. I would definitely not be eating multiple protein bars a day, even if you're trying to bulk bulk up. Lots of shakes and lots of bars, and okay, that might get you in those extra calories, but it may not be optimal for your digestive system. It may actually be harming you in the long run. You're better off eating a lot of whole foods. I know it's difficult, but you can do it. I believe in you. Limited ingredients, no added sugar, fruits and nut based. Fruit and nut based, that's gonna be your best bet. Don't be scared of a healthy whole protein bar that contains some carbs because Healthy carbohydrates contain carbs and sugar. Oh, one last thing. If you're feeling adventurous, then try a meat bar. Yes, a meat bar. I think they're pretty good and they're a healthy alternative to the protein bars that are out on the market. Basically, they're made out of meat. It's like beef jerky kind of in a bar, but they come in all different kinds of meat. Check out Epic Bars. Epic Bars. Crave, I think is another brand, but uh, they're pretty good and they're around 100, 150 calories, which is actually lower than most protein bars. Lots of you guys ask about protein bars, so I hope that this was helpful to you guys. If you have any other questions, let me know and I'll see you guys on my next video.